trying to cross the, the gap, you always have to make contact with the arm, no matter if it's punching or not, right? If it's punching great, not great, but you always have to make contact. And so I cross the gap here, and already I'm inside here, right? So here, strike here, this pressure point drops the blood pressure, go down, or he'll go, he'll go blind for a little bit, or go across the eyes, same thing. From here, I can work myself either inside, so from here, here, inside, inside, do some striking here, right, one, the rib, uh, mid, mid section, two, three, right, I just keep pushing in here, and just using this kind of body mechanic, and you see, every time it's a flail, elbow, wrist, fingers, right, shoulder too, I can drop in, and just keep keep pushing them back. Huh? I can also work from the outside. So again, make contact right as soon as I can here, and then take an arm here, right? That way can do this way can do this way around right. this way now. Right. So always controlling by two, at least two methods. Okay. Uh, so across, I always want to keep this arm in case this backfires. Coming here, and he comes in with a punch and cross. Oh, scary! I want to take the arm. Right. Always want to carry insurance policy. Right. Um, uh, another way to get uh, arm control, you go, for example. Um, we cross here, and I'm trying to take control of this arm, trying to take help control here, but he decides that he doesn't like that, so he comes with another punch this side. I just control this elbow instead. Right? So again, so first punch doesn't like that, so change. So you gotta have the sensitivity to switch one side and another, because he might not punch that side. It might just be this side here. Right? But sometimes he will switch, right? So one switch. Two switch, second switch. You shouldn't need to do more than three because now I'm too close. He can't really even throw a, a fourth punch. If he does, he gets, he gets this.